Hey folks, uh, it's been a while. In fact, it's been uh, quite a while according to this. 257 days on the uh, old Let's Play save. I may do a, may do a video in the future uh, about my plans, but I'm not completely sure what my future plans are yet for the Let's Play series. But for now, I want to do something quick and dirty for the phase change update, just to kind of uh, look at a few things that uh, were issues that cropped up. suited up and head on outside is the first thing is over here so the phase change update has introduced phase changes for our gases now they can be liquids and solids as well and unfortunately or fortunately depending on what your desire is. Um, they'll make those changes based on temperature and pressure, just like the real world. Now, uh, one of the problems with that is that our pipes are different now. And as you can see, these cooling loops are uh, prone to failure. So what the phase change update has done is, well, there are several changes. One is the different gases now have uh, liquid and solid states also pipe volumes the amount of space inside them has been decreased and they respond differently to the states all of the pipes are okay with gases and the liquid pipes are okay with liquids but if a gas pipe has liquid in it it will stress the pipe and it will take damage and burst. But we can now see the capacity, the volume of a pipe. This one is 20 liters now. I believe these, oh, these are only 10. Okay. pick these back so the uh, liquid pipes they can handle gases and liquids the gas pipes can only handle gases once they start getting condensation in them they take stress and they take damage. And none of the pipes can handle solids. If anything freezes in your pipes, they'll break. So, why did this pipe over here break? I believe, and I'm not sure, I haven't confirmed this yet. In fact, there's a lot that I'm still learning about this update. But I believe, because this is the way this cooling system is set up even though the valve inside was closed there's still gas in here because this cooling loop doesn't have a pump to evacuate it once it's done and I believe 
whatever was in here froze. Now, that's the first issue, and it's really a matter of the cooling loop. I have two other cooling loops in this build. The first one is this one for the highest, and it has a evacuation pump. Once this is shut down, it will all be pumped out. So we can look at the, the radiator loop here. There's nothing inside it. And that's good. I'm not sure if that's sufficient to prevent any freezing, but I think the system's programmed to pump it out before it gets cold enough to start freezing. And we also have this cooling loop. This one's a bit more of a problem because just like the one on the greenhouse, this one does not have a pump to pull the contents back out. And as we can see, we have liquid CO2 in this pipe. It's both freezing and evaporating at the same time. I'm not sure why that would be. But well, we can look in the stationpedia. So, CO2. Let's see, that's at negative 157 Celsius. That puts us somewhere down here. And the pressure in that pipe. I think it's around 10. Uh, no, 385 kilopascals. Okay. At any rate, we can see that the pipe has only 1% stress, but it's going to be a problem and this will have to be reworked. Meanwhile, there are two other issues. And that's part of the reason I wanted to make this video is while I don't have everything figured out yet, uh, the new update has given us some new devices and changed the way things work. And I kind of wanted to share what I've learned. This is another facet of the new update. It's repressurizing the airlock very slowly. The reason for that is because the storage that we have in the plumbing is now much smaller because they shrank the capacity of all the pipe. So we'll cancel that. Now the first issue that I ran into when I loaded this save was actually with the water dispenser. I had uh, loaded the save and looked around a bit and found that uh, after drinking water from this a couple of times, the uh, light began blinking with an error. I'm not sure what the problem was, but I think there was insufficient liquid water in that pipe. So what we're going to do to get our materials here. We're going to fix the airlock issue and we're going to hopefully fix the water dispenser. Not sure which materials I'm going to need.
And we need these utility kits. I get two of the gas pipe utility kits. And we're also going to get one of the liquid ones. These are something new in this update. And by the way, if you start looking for your canister storage units, this is where they went. This kit can now make an inline tank, which is in line with the pipe, a larger one, and our canister storage. A lot of people in the forums have been asking, where's canister storage? There you go. Exiting the airlock works just fine. Now, you may remember some episodes back, and of course it's been a while since the last episode, when we improved this airlock so it would cycle faster we set up this system with a pump and a back pressure regulator a pressure regulator and a back pressure to maintain at least five megapascals of pressure in these pipes that way when we come back in and we repressurize the airlock there's plenty of atmosphere supply to refill it with this update they've decreased the pipe volume, so we need to give it a little more space. So we're going to take this and put us an inline tank there, and that's going to increase the volume. Now we have 300 liters of capacity in there that should be plenty. So let's go ahead and close this back up. Unfortunately, there doesn't appear to be an insulated version of that pipe, but these pipes aren't insulated anyway. Uh, the thermodynamics update made it where inside of a frame is not a perfect insulation, but it I think it does help, and I haven't had trouble with these getting too cold, so we'll leave them as they are. So that's the airlock handled. And the situation with the water, I'm not entirely sure what was causing the error. And I actually chased my tail quite a bit trying to figure out how to address the issue of water vapor in this pipe. Because I had gotten it in my head that, okay, the reason it's not working is because there's not just water, there's water vapor. Uh, but the reality is that these liquid pipes, A, don't care about water vapor. They don't care about gases in them. They're okay with that. And B, you're going to have water vapor. If you've got water in the pipe, you're going to have water vapor. This pipe has a certain amount of capacity. The water's not enough to fill that capacity. It's not going to remain a vacuum. So one thing to come to grips with at the outset is 
your liquid pipes are going to have gases in them probably. And it's okay. But I do want to set up a situation where we will have readily available water for this dispenser. So let's pull these pipes down. This may end up being a little cosmetically janky. That's okay, I'm not too worried about it. And we'll put that there to give us a little more volume. is how I want this. Let me double check. Oh, we want a volume regulator. Let's correct that. much faster cycle time. So that's working. So I believe this is new in this update. This volume regulator. And it works like the pressure regulator for gases. But in this case, it doesn't work on pressure, it works on volume. There we go. And we'll set this to, let's say, 25%. So right now we have 200 liters of capacity in this system. That's the tank itself plus four pipe segments. Now, if we turn this on, we'll see that we immediately have water vapor. That's okay. But we also have liquid water. And what this volume regulator does is it tries to feed this side of the, of the pump with that volume. So we've set it to 25%. It will try to fill 25% of this capacity with water, liquid water. 
it won't concern itself with vapor. It won't concern itself with gases. It's only for liquids that it's measuring. Now the remaining capacity or remaining space will will allow water vapor in there. And it looks like there's not a lot of water in this system. Let's go grab some water ice. Send that in there and let the crushers handle it. Now we're seeing some liquid in there. I think we had gotten a little low. Then again, I don't know what may be going on with the greenhouse. There's still water fed in there. As we gain our water, we're now filling this capacity to 25%. 25% of 200 liters should be 50 liters. And it should fill this to 50 and then stop. So, again, I'm not entirely sure what caused the error that I was having. And it may have been, but there was a hot fix release right after the uh, update came out. And so there may have been some issue that they hot fixed. But setting this up for this way, I uh, essentially set this up and then allowed my character to get thirsty and drink you know, 10 or 15 times and did not encounter an error with the bottle filler. So I do believe that this has got it fixed for now. I'm not entirely sure what the error was. So what else is new with this update? Well, one big thing is with this update and the thermodynamics update, we now have the ability to create actual heat pumps. In other words, we can use evaporation and condensation and how it causes materials to gain or lose heat to move heat around so we can create a proper working refrigeration loop, for example. But it does add some complexity. For one thing, uh, we're seeing the effects of you know, burst pipes and things like that. Managing your temperatures and your pressures are going to be a little more involved now. So far, the only serious issues that I've encountered with this build have been the burst pipe on top of the greenhouse. Otherwise, no explosions, nothing really exciting. Just the uh, airlock cycling slow and the issue with the bottle filler. And so that's why I wanted to make this video, in case others have run into that issue. Again, there's a lot that I don't understand about the new update yet. Uh, they've got it. They've given us a lot of new devices, including an evaporator and a condenser, which you can use to make your refrigeration loops and such. Uh, there are devices that can pull liquids out of a room 
or uh, remove liquids from pipes. Hydration critical. But overall, uh, I think there's going to be a bit of a learning curve. Uh, in the update notes, the developers did say that they didn't think that this would impact new starting players very heavily. I hope that's correct. But for now, that's that's mainly what I wanted to cover. Basically, what I have faced with the new update and how much of it, you know, what I've done to counter. Uh, again, this um, this cooling system, this is going to be insufficient. These pipes are going to burst if I don't do something about that. But that's a little longer term issue and. They haven't broken yet, and the greenhouse is currently not in use. So, yeah, as far as this save is concerned, it's not been catastrophic. I have seen videos on, on YouTube of bases that have been devastated by this, uh, even apparently using the old save conversion tools that you may have noticed when I loaded the save that uh, worked to remove overpressures and things like that. Uh, the developers have gone to great lengths to try to not break existing saves. Uh, I think one reason that I haven't had more trouble, part of it is just dumb luck. And part of it, I think, is that a lot of this has been maybe designed in a way that's more suitable for real world phase changes which is in itself a lucky thing but that's about it for now um as for the future of this let's play series i haven't fully decided where i'm gonna go with this um but uh there may be maybe another video in the nearish future once i decide what I want to do. Uh, for now, uh, I hope this is helpful. If you've got questions or comments, we'd love to hear from you guys. And, uh, yeah, stay safe. Check your pipes. Thanks for watching.